Parasites, and welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog, and I am actually out, outside where they're filming Venom 2 right now. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. This is episode 499. Yes, I already have episode 500 mostly edited. I'm just going to work on it a little bit more and you'll probably get it this weekend. Um, I had a lot of people writing me, you know, about this news already and I already am like, all right, I'm going to record this video and turn my phone off uh, because this news just dropped about half an hour ago and it's from Hollywood Reporter and Deadline. And yes, I believe it. Uh, this lines up with some of the stuff I've been hearing, which is Sony has been waiting on anything major like a trailer for Venom because they wanted to figure out when the movie was going to come out. Did it make sense to release on October? I didn't think it would because obviously you can't do a proper marketing for a movie when the theater chain is down right now and the, you know and a lot of websites are are hurting for news and stuff it's like you can't really gain a lot of traction I mean I know a lot of people are at home right now and they're and they're jumping on news and stuff when they can but it just it would be difficult in its unfamiliar territory to market during this time and so uh, so I figured this was going to happen and apparently other people at Sony also figured it was best to push the movie back. And I figured, like, I thought that was going to be the best thing to do as well so they can, A, do more, you know, work on the CG if they needed to. I mean, this is a very important franchise for Sony. Everyone's just like, oh, just put it out there, put it out there. And it's like, look, like, this movie made almost a billion dollars for them. The other franchise they have going for them right now is Jumanji, and that made a ton of money for them. So Sony cares about these franchises. They want them to have the best chance at doing really, really well. And so when Morbius already got pushed back, I'm like, well, if I figure what happens in Morbius, because there's some, you know, things that tie from Morbius into Venom 2, those, those events seem like they have to happen first. And so that's why I was like, when they announced, you know, Morbius pushing back, I was like, well, probably Venom 2 is right around the corner. And it seems that's the case, because obviously now we got Venom 2 coming out in June 25th of 2021. So next year, a month before Comic-Con next year. And I know this is going to upset people, but this, I think, is for the best of the movie. And we got to think about that, that this, that's what this is for. That's why the decision was made. Um, it makes sense to release this movie closer to Morbius, uh, you know, and, and maybe take place after Morbius or come out after Morbius so they can slowly build that world that they're trying to build and then slowly tie it into Spider-Man. I think there was originally a Spider-Man movie coming out next year. I have a feeling that that might even get pushed back too. Uh, but who knows? Maybe it'll come out around the time and we'll have a three- picture you know summer or year with uh with all these sony and marvel movies and stuff that'd be great but i don't know they might push spider-man back now who knows we'll see uh or it might have already been pushed back and i just don't even know i haven't been keeping up with the, the spider-man news uh but you know here we are today with venom a release date which is june 25th 2021 so i definitely want to hear thoughts about that and also the new title a lot of people were you know commenting a couple weeks ago that the movie was going to be called venom 2 i wasn't so sure about that actually because sometimes movies when they that was uh, from a reporter in australia sometimes movies get different titles in different regions around the world so i figured uh maybe that's just going to be the australian title because i know sony and sony likes to put subtitles titles under movies now granted they have franchises like equalizer which just has equalizer 2 at the end of it but resident evil you know every movie past the first one had a subtitle spider-man subtitles you know i think uh you know the first three spider-man movies and the andrew garfield ones had numbers on them but now that they're in the you know marvel game and stuff <laughs> i feel like they're starting to lean more towards subtitles so that was just a hunch of mine. I didn't know for sure, but I was like, I'll wait and see. I would have been happy with Venom 2. I probably would be happier with Venom 2 than Venom Let There Be Carnage. I'm not a big fan of that title, to be honest with you, but I don't hate it completely either. And really what matters to me is that the movie's good. I don't really care what you call the movie as long as the movie's good. So uh, so I'm looking forward to you know seeing the movie itself. But the title is out now, Venom Let There Be Carnage. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that now too. And also, now that we got the release date, what are your thoughts on that? I'm sure there's going to be a lot of disappointment in the comments, but uh, but I do want to hear what your thoughts are. And if you think that's for best for the film, I think so. It gives them more time to do you know the CGI on it, work on it. Um, it also gives them, if, in case they need to do another set of reshoots, I think they already did a couple reshoots in San Francisco and squeezed them in already, from what I was told. But in case I'm wrong about that or in case they need to do a couple other reshoots, uh, they have the opportunity now and still get it into the movie without rushing everybody. And that's what's important. So all the footage is done. All the footage, for the most part, is there. They can remotely work on the movie and slowly build together some cuts of the movie if they want to and maybe work on some trailers to release in the summertime at some point when maybe the world goes back to normal. Um, but for now, it's going to be light on movie news for Venom 2, I think. They might maybe still announce a couple casting things or small things like that. But I feel like for the most part, they're probably just going to you know uh, focus on getting this movie out 
at the right time um, with the right uh, amount of work that can go into it to make the movie the best it can be. So let me know what you guys think of all this down in the comments uh, below and uh, we'll talk more about this coming up. I'm going to do a live stream coming up pretty soon because I saw people online like uh, even some people and normally I don't you know care about like one or two comments from people but this one you know I had someone recently on on Twitter call me petty uh, because they because I'm posting stuff uh, kind of taking jabs at um, you know other websites and YouTubers who aren't uh, even though I didn't mention any in particular in this particular post also wasn't directed at anyone specific. Um, it was just a reaction I had to people in my comment section asking for the trailer um, and saying that they knew for sure it was coming out. And it's like, you don't know for sure. And people are like, oh, localization process. And it's like, that's what one guy said a couple weeks ago. It's like, well, are we taking everyone's word for gospel now just because they may have gotten something right before in the past? It's it's ridiculous. We're in different times, uncharted territory. So I like to wait for official news. So no, I don't have a problem. I've been doing it since season one of this show uh, in episodes even where I've called journalists and people out for not reporting to their best of their ability. And yeah, maybe some people are saying, you know, told me like, hey, it's unfair that you have higher expectations for people. I disagree. That's just, uh, we'll fundamentally disagree on that. So no, when I make these posts about other people who claim to have sources, and then now that the world is shutting down, they have, they're just okay with spreading fake information. Um, yeah, I will call those people out. And sometimes directly, and sometimes not directly. But some of the ones I did call out directly, um, we became friends. You know, they, we followed each other, we DM'd each other, and they'll, they'll openly admit, they're like, you know what, I, I can do better and I will next time. And that's awesome. Like, that's really great. And that's what I hope is the outcome for these things. And I hope if I do something like that, someone does that to me and says, hey man, you got that information wrong. And here's how I know that. And let's DM and talk about it. And then you can initial an apology to your audience, which I've done before on this show. So yes, that's the outcome I want. So no, I'm not out here to make enemies. I'm out here to, you know, report stuff to you guys, but also at the same time, be completely aware of the world around me and the other people that are reporting on Venom stuff and make sure they're doing it accurately because whenever they're in accurate with their news some of you guys who are fans of theirs come to me and go well so and so said this and so and so said that and i'm like but it's not true and so the more they spread fake stuff the more i hear about it anyway so uh so people out there who think i'm petty when it comes to posts and stuff like that it's not about me being petty it's me trying to get other people to be better and it's also trying to set a bar for myself so that i know that i have to constantly be as good as i want other people to be and so that's that's what i do uh and that's what i'm trying to get across and if you think that's petty on some level then screw you like uh, you're you're wrong because that's i don't have petty intentions when i'm doing it uh yeah sometimes i take cheap shots but again it's all for the hope that we all get better at what we're doing which is just providing information look how easy it is for me to wait for a deadline and hollywood reporter to report on something and then just say it to you guys and repeat it to you guys it's that easy you know <laughs> venom let there be carnage june 25th 2021 it's that easy so why are all these other sites and stuff going out of their way to just report fake stuff and working harder to get fake information out there then they could just sit and wait for official news to come out and that's why i do the stuff i do so if you have a problem with that also let me know down in the comments below but on this one i, I plant my feet and i stand my ground uh, on what i'm doing and uh, and i um, you know i'm not always going to be right but in this instance this is how i operate and this is how i do things and i'm sorry if that upsets you but it, i'm going to keep doing it that's how i am and as for everything else in this video let me know release date you know title what are your thoughts on that? And we'll do a live stream probably. I want to do a live stream uh, maybe like tomorrow afternoon. I think tomorrow's Wednesday now. I'm like so behind on my days. Uh, but on Wednesday, probably afternoon, we might do a live stream. So keep an eye out. Uh, if nothing else, we'll do it Thursday, uh, live stream at the latest. So either tomorrow or Thursday, I'll post. I'll do a post about it here and on social media. Uh, but we'll do a live stream. We'll talk about all this information because I'd love to get your thoughts on it if you don't want to leave them in the comments. I hope you do. But if not, we'll talk about it live. And then also we'll talk about Maximum Venom so I can hear about your responses to that show and i want to hear you know your reviews of that so definitely save some of that stuff and save some of that energy for that live stream we're going to do that either wednesday or thursday and i'll let you guys know as soon as possible thanks so much for watching the show as always like share subscribe all that fun stuff and i'll see you guys in the future peace